uh, Saturday the 6th of December so we've done a clap for the gearbox in the last race you've seen it in the last video so we're just dropping the engine box out now we think it's clutch the car's disgusting again see all the dirt on the floor that's just from taking the wheels off so yeah we're uh, let's see how we get on but engine box out hopefully today and see if we can get it back in as well gearbox off it's hold off playing music uh, Clutch doesn't look very well, but more importantly, small technical problem. It may explain why we were struggling for gears. So I'm going to see if I can bodge that back on as it's not broke the block. And it'd be a shame to throw away an engine that's good just because of that. So I'm going to see if I can chemical metal that on just so the gearbox can bolt back on. But we'll see how we get on. But uh, yeah, long day already. This bit here don't look none too clever. Uh, Not sure on that either. It's got some burn marks on it, wouldn't you say? And then this is the uh, clutch plate. Oh, I've seen worse, so I don't know. But equally, I've seen better. It looks like it's got loads of life left on it, but I don't know. It <laughs> also looks like it's had a hard life. All these don't look too bad. Strange. To be fair to the inside of the box, considering I don't run the old chip plate, it don't look none too bad. I mean, the release bearing <laughs> look cleaner, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, I don't know whether I've got a spare small shaft box on there. I don't know whether to just change the box whilst I'm here, but then I don't know whether I've this one's then any good. Do you see what I mean? I, I like sticking with what I know sometimes. I don't want to put it all back together and put it back in the car and I uh, haven't fixed it but another grim day look at the shit on the floor look right Sunday morning Sunday the 7th turn that off so I get shouted out by the YouTube police so we went to build a new clutch on this engine a section of the engine fell off here fine I can repair that but these bolts here and here have threaded on the gearbox so where that may have broken it's pulled these bolts so long story cut short decided to build up another engine had it in the shed can't remember how long we've had it turns over so i'm pretty sure i'd have only kept it if it was good didn't like how the gearbox felt so it's now got a different gearbox on it that i had on the floor and the gear linkage didn't feel right so i'm now putting a different gear linkage on it so what should have been a fairly quick job yesterday means that i'm here today well, we are, Harry's there somewhere. We're building it up as we speak. Right, engine's in. Oh, thought they... Where's the police show us? Engine's in, with new gearbox, new clutch, new gear linkages. I thought it was making a funny noise for the all-cameras, and the exhaust obviously fell off the car, so it's ran. If you look, you can see it's, it's ran the exhaust flat. So, the exhaust isn't very well, so that's gonna get adapted. Uh, hopefully the engine will run up. We're going to try and do that before we leave today. It's coming up for about quarter to four, four o'clock. Excuse the wind, it is freezing. It's telling me it's two degrees. I'm telling you, it don't feel like it. A uh, bit of faffing about, but we've had it running and driving, so really, really good day. Much better than yesterday. Uh, still needs the exhaust doing properly, exhaust clamp, uh, oil change, spark plugs, loads of faffing about, but it's driving. Not happy about the passenger shafts sat in the gearbox but that's a that's a job for another day um still need to straighten it out still need to wash it even if it's only a little bit just tidy it up a little bit but we have a race car that runs again i'm going home for cup of tea i'm freezing uh sunday morning the 12th 13th something like that anyway we race next sunday did do a bit yesterday forgot to do a video it's been very cold and that doesn't help my enthusiasm uh, so obviously we had problems with the engine that we were running so this fell off the back of the block then the bolts had all lost their thread and various other things so I've ended up building up another engine that I can't remember where I got it from but it seems okay at the minute touch wood we then weren't happy with how the gearbox felt so we put another gearbox on it we then weren't happy with the clutch didn't look right so we changed the clutch and then we weren't happy with the 
gear rods and they work on like a pivot and one of the pivots just wasn't working so we've ended up changing pretty much all the running gear now which obviously wasn't the plan on an old used beat to death car but that's where we're at so yesterday uh got all the engine mounts done got everything underneath all tight sorted out a problem with this passenger shaft this side it like it wasn't long enough aftermarket shaft very odd um so we sorted that out done the solid engine mount up so I've got to do everything underneath, which I'm going to do now. It has got a bit of an oil leak, which I'm going to try and investigate now. It's not horrendous, you know, topping it up will work, but I'd rather resolve it if I can, so I'll have a look. It does seem to start and run. Um, if I get time, it might get a clean. I do, as silly as it sounds for a banger, I do think that the car should be half sensibly presented. Just, you know, trying to get people interested in this sport. Uh, we're on an icebreaker, which... Cool meeting, been around a long, long time now. Good grid of unlimited bangers, and we've got fully booked junior bangers as well. So it should be a good meeting. So hopefully we get some bits and pieces done today, make next weekend a bit easier. Like I say, it'd be nice to give it a wash, and we'll see how we get on today, though. I need to sort out the water hoses and a few other bits, so let's go. Uh, Saturday the 20th, we're racing tomorrow. Just done an oil change, spark plugs. I'm just going to try and pull the... Uh, It's a bit close to the wheels, and then we should be somewhere near done. So, well, as good done as we will be. It's got the tiniest, tiniest water leak on the water pump, but I can't get it any better now, so nothing to worry about, hopefully. So we're here, uh, it's cold but dry, pits are full. Uh, I've got the right for the program, don't get to do it very often. I'm not the May, I'm not the May West at it, but we've had a go. Uh, Harry's out in heat two, top 10 qualify for the final, so it's dry at the minute, obviously wet suits us, but we'll see how we get on.
interesting day, tough day. Car survived, ish. Uh, finished the heat, you'll see it on the video hopefully if I can get it right. Uh, and then it, excuse the wind, it, it broke down on the way to the truck. Uh, truck. Replaced loads and loads of bits. Where it goes out, breaks down the rolling lap. Replaced load more bits and it runs on and off sick, all all comers, but he finished. But it's got massive, massive oil leak now. So I've got to have the engine and box out now. So I've either got to repair the oil leak or put another engine in. The car's a bit sore. Uh, but it will still go again. So I've got loads of work to do on a used car again. So things aren't quite going according to plan, but that's racing.